A quick look at uh, the API gateway highlights, but it is a serverless uh, gateway. It is an Oracle managed service, uh, which means you don't need to worry about uh, in managing uh, uh, the infrastructure that is taken care of by Oracle, um, including updates and patches. It's a network device um, on your VCN, virtual cloud network. It is a regional uh, service with automatic failover across availability domains. You have the option to provision your gateway um, as either private or public, that is exposing um, um, public endpoints or keep it uh, private into your internal VCN. It supports also custom domain name, so you can use your own domain name for the API gateway endpoints. Um, I already mentioned that it provides a RESTful API facade for HTTP backends uh, and functions. And uh, most important, it provides policy enforcement with multiple policies available. Authorization, rate limiting, routing, transformation, validation. These are some of the policies available. You also have uh, metrics and logging integrated into the product. As specification, as for the specification, uh, the API gateway supports Open API 2, former Swagger, and uh, Open API 3. You can also generate client SDKs from these APIs. And um, last but not least, the API gateway also provides built-in mock testing. How do you manage uh, the API gateway? Well, uh, you can manage it using the OCI console manually, or you can automate uh, uh, the management with the CLI, the command line interface, and with SDKs. So this is a screenshot from the console, and here is a screenshot using the OCI CLI command uh, to list gateways. I mentioned uh, the API gateway provides inbuilt observability features, um, you can see metrics, you can see logs for your API gateway, and you could also leverage the log analytics service uh, to build dashboards and get more insights into uh, the logs of the API gateway. Some use cases, uh, how you could use how the API gateway. Um, you can use it um, for cloud development where you want your APIs to be exposed on the public internet uh, and protect your backend services running in the cloud on private subnets. This pattern fully supports the OCI security model. You could add also a WAF, Web Application Firewall, for even more protection, like for example, um, for the OWASP vulnerabilities. Another use case is the hybrid use case. These are very generic use cases. So uh, in the hybrid uh, use case, your APIs are again called um, via public internet and they access backend services, which could be running both on OCI and in your um, delivery center. And as use case here, you could be extending internal applications with new capabilities, for instance, with microservices, or you can uh, you could protect um, uh, access to your internal systems and um, finally application modernization.